What is up, you nasty nocturnal nutsacks? I'm McStud. And welcome to the motherfucking McStud Show. First, tasty beverages. We ain't got 40s, but we got these. Your mother, come out and play. She'll be here later. Oh, cheers, bitches. It's fucking Monday. Hope you all having a great fucking Monday. I'm not even going to try to solve these right now. Football's on. Got to start some jambalaya. And yeah, chill. Cheers, bitches. Ah, that's tasty. Ah, I know the title of the video is called Not Funny. Um, because there's a lot of you out there that think that I'm not, and that's fine. But there's a lot of you out there that think I do, or I am. So, cool. But before I get into all that, if you haven't checked out my new song, No More, <clears throat> check it out on my, uh, uh, music YouTube channel, my regular YouTube channel. I got it posted on Facebook. Uh, it's on Instagram. Uh, and hopefully by the end of this week, it'll be streaming everywhere. So cheers to that. Probably the fit my favorite and best song I've ever fucking done. Uh, it's got some good uh, feedback so far. Uh, so cheers to that as well. Anyway, so tonight I go newscaster. Got some news I'm gonna read because I'm not funny. So I'm just gonna read it off instead of uh you know going off the top of the head. But I wrote this. It's my news. And you guys are not informed. So I gotta inform you motherfuckers. <clears throat> First <clears throat> earlier this morning, Jerry Jones was caught having a Three-way with Coach McCarthy and Dak Prescott at Wild Bill's Western Store in Dallas. When Mr. Jones was asked about it, he stated, If Dak can pull off a play-action reach-around in muddy conditions, he'll be getting greasy on my gridiron for the rest of his career. That's good news for uh, Dak. I don't know about uh, old Coach McCarthy, but at least Dak's got a, a home in Dallas. You know, that's where Debbie did Dallas. Um... Where the Cowboys suck. You know, they play what? AT&T Field, AT&T Stadium. Well, how about they fucking make an AT&T phone call and get the fuck up out of there and just leave the fucking NFL? Mm. Oh, these are really fucking cold. This is good. Speaking of cold, it's cold as balls out. It's been cold as balls <coughs> the last few days. <coughs> was it saturday night we had like uh it was negative six with negative 30 wind chill boy talk about shrinkage your mother doesn't mind though because she uh unshrinks it with her esophagus in other news they've been calling it the fuck fest in foxborough you know, raiders owner mark davis is still doing his best to acquire former patriots players and staff literally staff not the infection penis. <clears throat> he was spotted outside of Foxborough, bent over Robert Kraft's Rolls Royce, while Josh McDaniels cradled Mr. Kraft's testicles with his butthole. I guess you could say that's one way to deflate a Patriots balls. If you all didn't know, Mark Davis has been up the Patriots asses lately. He wanted to get all the fucking Patriots staff and like players and shit on his fucking team. I'm sorry, but if his dad Al was still alive, he would have kicked his son right in the fucking nuts. You know, Al's thing was just win, baby, not just fucking take all these players off a winning team that used to win and bring them on to ours. You know, for a while, though, for a hot minute, we were getting some the uh, old players. Like, we got Jerry Rice for a little while, end of his career. We got Randy Moss for a little while, end of his career. Like, what the fuck are we doing? No, I'm not looking to, uh, uh, is it Jamarcus Russell or whatever? That fucking waste of a fucking draft pick. The Davis family has been nothing but a fucking wart on the Raiders for a long time, you know. <clears throat> Old school Al Davis back in the day was smart and fucking made a lot of good decisions. The older he got, the stupider he was. And I think old Mark acquired his old dad's stupid fucking behavior. What the fuck is up with Mark Davis's haircut? <clears throat> Anyways, 
If a lot of you didn't know, an Arctic blast is bringing freezing weather to roughly 80% of Americans. No shit. It's fucking winter. No. Apparently, 80% of Americans remember what winter is about as well as they remember how to drive when it snows each year. They don't, you know. And to raise awareness and flatten the idiot driving curve, Atlanta has installed snow machines along the six interstate highways traveling around and through the city. Unfortunately, the city has now declared a state of emergency. And most people are walking to work or calling in. Schools have been canceled. Y'all remember when the fucking Atlanta got some snow, like an inch and a half or some dumb shit, and people were just like, it looked like a parking lot on their fucking interstates. Sad. Uh, anyways, motherfuckers, that's all I got. Not funny, I know. Remember to check out my new fucking song. It's really good. Um, now I'm going to get out of here, cook dinner, and watch motherfucking football. How about those fucking Bills? I wish we could have watched it during the fucking blizzard, but hey, uh, still a good game. And fucking that Josh Daniel, Josh Allen fucking 52-yard rush for a touchdown, which it wasn't intended to be a rush. That was pretty fucking good. Anyways. I'm excited. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you with you later. Deuces. Ugh.